Oh, well, welcome back. I am Sage and you are watching Kalkine TV live from Sydney. And this is the last show of the day, the last trade. So let's get started with today's market close commentary. Market recovers from midday slumber and closes up 0.5%. The market today followed the global queues and traded in the positive zone. The benchmark index ASX 200 added 34 points and traded at 7,032, an uptick of 0.5% on Wednesday's closure. Most sectors managed to recoup the early morning losses and ended in the green today. AREIT topped the charts and energy was the worst performer of the day. Materials traded in the green and Northern Star Resources Limited and West Gold Resources Limited from this space traded higher. Megaport Limited was up 8% after reporting a robust quarterly growth with underlying recurring revenue on a monthly basis up by 10% and posted monthly recurring revenue increased by 8% on a QOQ basis. And now a quick wrap up of the Asian markets. On Thursday, Asian stocks took cues from the global markets and gained in the day's trade. On worries of new cases in multiple parts of the world, oil prices eased again. Today, US crude declined 10 cents to $61.25 US per barrel and Brent dipped 10 cents to US $65.22. The spot gold inched higher to $1,794.32 an ounce. Asia-Pacific MSCI broadest index outside Japan increased by 0.4% and Chinese blue chips increased by 0.3%. US Treasury yields remained under pressure with the yield on the benchmark 10-year notes down two basis points at 1.5414%. The dollar also remained near multi-week lows as compared to its peers. The Australian gold sub-index jumped as much as 2.7%, set to hit its highest since 27th January 2021. Aussie gold stocks track bullion prices that rose to a near eight-week high on Thursday as weak US dollar and Treasury yields boosted safe haven assets appeal. And moving on to the market update at the closing bell. Pfizer has responded to the vaccine side effect issues. In Queensland, a police officer three days after taking the jab was hospitalised due to side effects of blood clots. The state's health authority had confirmed yesterday that they were aware of the incident and there would be a no probe in the case involving this 40-year-old frontline worker. Pfizer, whose vaccine is now being seen as the preferred vaccine for Aussies, stated that they have carefully evaluated the safety data of their vaccine and found that blood clots are not the associated risk. And now let's take a look at the other significant news grabbing the headlines today. The second coronavirus wave in India that started in mid-March is spreading at a devastating speed and collapsing the country's healthcare and other essential services. On Wednesday, the country reported its highest single-day spike in cases and death number since the pandemic started. The country is going through its most challenging phase of coronavirus crisis to date, where hospitals are reportedly turning away patients, graveyards are overburdened and desperate people are pleading for hospital beds and medicines. Moving on to the stocks that are in the news today. The share price of MGC Pharmaceuticals Limited gained as much as 6.7% to Australian $0.064 per share. The medical cannabis firm announced the acquisition of Israeli clinical and medical research company MediCanL. MGC Pharmaceuticals shared that MediCanL will design, manage and run all clinical trials for MGC Pharma following norms set by leading worldwide drug regulators. 
The deal terms include consideration of $6 million in MXC shares, 30% on settlement and 70% in instalments as deferred consideration. Towards the session's end, MGC Pharmaceuticals Limited shares gained by 5%. The share price of the Stock Triangle Energy Global Limited jumped as much as 28% to $0.032 in its best intraday session since 23rd September 2020. The Australian oil and gas explorer entered into a binding agreement with quinana based BP refinery PTYLTD concerning the storage of companies crude oil produced at its cliff head asset. Triangle Energy Global Limited has also agreed terms with BP Singapore, PTE LTD, in a non-binding term sheet for a related offtake agreement for its product. More than 5.5 million TEG shares were traded as compared to the 30-day average of about 2.5 million shares. Towards the market close, Triangle Energy Global Limited shares were up by 11.999%. The shares of Maggie Beer Holdings Limited hovered in green zone as the company announced successful completion of the retail entitlement offer to raise approximately $9.6 million. Nearly 70% of the offer was taken up by existing eligible retail shareholders. Together with the placement and the institutional component of the entitlement offer, total proceeds from the capital raise under the offer are around 30 million Australian dollars. The proceeds from the offer are to be used primarily to purchase 100% of the shares in Hampers and Gifts Australia PTYLTD or HGA. Maggie B Holdings Limited shares were up by 2.898%. Jupiter Mines Limited marked remarkable gains on the ASX as the company announced its final dividend of 0.02 Australian dollars unfranked, total financial year 2021 payout ratio of 94% for the financial year ended 28th February 2021. The dividend record date is 7th of May 2021 and it will be paid on 21st May 2021. Jupiter Mines also welcomed the announcement by Nitsimbintul Holdings Pty Ltd that it had raised its stake in Jupiter to 19.9%. Jupiter Mines Limited shares increased by 3.174%. The share price of Brambles Limited traded in green today as the company reported sales revenue from continuing operations of 3,794.1 million US dollars for the first nine months of the financial year ending 30th June 2021, representing a rise of 8% at actual FX rates on the prior corresponding period. At constant currency growth of 6% include an approximate one percentage point contribution from customer and retailer inventory stocking, primarily in the US and Europe. Volume growth was 3% as raised demand in the global pallets and Australian RPCs. Businesses offset declines in automotive sector. Brambles Limited shares were up by 1.825%. Incanex Healthcare Limited hit the headlines. On Thursday, as it shared, it will be expanding its development program to assess the potential for IHL-675A to become a multi-use pharmaceutical drug for treating the patients with lung inflammation, irritable bowel disease and rheumatoid arthritis. In the positive pre-IND meeting with the US FDA, FDA approved an accelerated and less costly route to registration and marketing than the traditional pathway. And now in Canex Healthcare will combine its ARDS slash SAARDS and pulmonary neutrophilia development activities into a common project and IND, expanding the program's scope and economic potential. In Canex Healthcare Limited shares dipped by 3.449%. Thank you so much for your time watching today and that is all for now. I hope your trading has gone well and I will see you back tomorrow as close as possible to 10am Sydney time live from our studios here at Calkine TV. This is Sage signing off.